Okay, so I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. I have a video that I did a while back on my channel that is uh, how to make a propane tank crucible. And if you haven't seen it already, I'll put the link right here and you can go check it out. But uh, it was an experiment. It wasn't necessarily something that I was advocating, not necessarily something that I thought was particularly a good idea. Just an experiment to see if I could do it. And it came out conclusive. You can, in fact, use those little green uh, propane tanks as a crucible. This is good. Uh, but I thought that I should say a few words on that. One, since the release of the video, I am still getting comments uh, which seem to uh, be under the mindset that I am some sort of expert on the subject. People asking all kinds of questions on it and everything. Everything I know about propane tank crucibles is said in that video. It, honestly, I'm just a guy who wanted to try something and I tried it. So I don't know anything else on the subject and haven't really returned to it since then. But also, I feel that I should also say that the end result isn't a good crucible. It was just that it worked. Having that said, for a crucible of about the same caliber, you can just use a, an old soup or vegetable can. Uh, tin has a low melting point, which would be a problem, except the cans that we refer to as tin cans are actually made of steel. So, it has a higher melting point than aluminum. So as long as you keep your, your temperature low, you don't have to go through all of the work of trying to make a crucible out of a propane tank or anything else. You could just keep your temperature just high enough to melt aluminum, uh, melt your cans in it, and then dump it out into another, uh, another soup can. The reason why you want to do that is because aluminum cans aren't just aluminum. There's a bunch of impurities left over when you're done, and you want to leave that in your first can, the one I call a burner can. And uh, they will, your, your steel can will burn out, but the lucky part is they're easy to come by and you just grab a new one when you need a new one. So it's not really that big of a deal anyway. Uh, I just thought I'd do this quick little update and tell you guys what's up with the, uh, with the propane tank crucible thing versus steel can crucible. Uh, I hope this was helpful in some way. I know this isn't as, uh, as in-depth as some of my other videos, but, uh... Now I'm going to get to some melting some cans. Okay, so update on my update here. Uh, you do want to be careful. I am not saying these are any good. You do want to be careful to watch your can, keep your temperature just high enough to melt aluminum, and keep your, uh, keep your can from burning. Because I let my temperature get away from me, and now aluminum went down the pipe under my forge here, so I've had to get creative because I got to heat up the aluminum to get it back out of there. So let's see how this works out. <laughs> All right, so that's still a little hot, yeah. But job done there. There's the clog. Got it out. Just heated it just enough and knocked it out, and that wasn't a problem. Here's the other bits of aluminum that I got from this failed one. Uh, just for the record, I am not saying that this is the right way to go about melting aluminum. I am just saying that this works until sometimes it doesn't. The proper way would probably be buy a real crucible, uh, build yourself a foundry or buy one of those, and, and honest to God, just, just do your research and do it the right way. But I don't like doing things the right way. I like trying new stuff and seeing, seeing what I can, uh, what I can achieve by doing things the wrong way. I think it's more fun. So that's kind of the basis for my channel so far. If you've, uh, if you've been around all along, you kind of already knew that. And because I don't give up on a bad idea and I don't learn from my mistakes, I'm going to melt down all those little bits into, uh, an aluminum ingot using the same method that failed me the last time. Another good hunk of pure aluminum. Didn't quite make as much as I expected it to, but you know, 
That's because we got rid of a lot of impurities, so that's that's a good thing. We're good. And uh, and again, I'd call this a success. It may not be the right way to do it, but it's successful nonetheless. So, yeah. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you dislike this video, hit that dislike button. If you have any ideas for any projects that you want to see me do, uh, be sure to tell me in the comments. Uh, tell me what you think of this video in the comments as well. If you guys are not already, please hit that subscribe button. If you are already and you want me to see me go away, then go ahead and hit that unsubscribe button. And go check out RowanwoodArt.com where you can support everything that we do here in Rowanwood. Bye.